Hey, welcome to Truman Tech Breaks. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix alternative text or alternative tagging uh, issues in Ally. Um, alternative text or alternative tagging is an HTML based description of an image uh, that serves as an alternate and more accessible um, alternative to the actual visual depiction of the image itself. Um, so it is a pretty common issue in Ally, but it's also, depending on uh, where it is, relatively easy to fix. So as you can see here, I'm in my Ally test course. Um, and I've got a couple things that we can fix right now. So the first example we have is whenever you upload a, uh, an image file directly to Blackboard. So here we can see we've got this picture of uh, the mall at dusk here probably looks familiar to quite a few of you, but uh, as you can see, it is a low accessibility score. So let's see what we can do to fix that. All right, so we've got a 25% here uh, for our accessibility score. And as we can see, the reason given for that is that this image is missing a description. Uh, we can click on what it means to get a little bit more uh, information on alternative text. Um, we can also go ahead and click on how to write a good description. And what that'll do is give you just a couple examples of what you're looking for in a description. Basically, what you're looking for is a textual alternative to what is there. Uh, so in this case, the words that we'd want to use would describe what we see on the screen. We want a uh, meaningful description. So we, we wouldn't just want to have something that says like Truman Mall JPEG. We want something that actually goes into a uh, description of what's actually there and is friendly to read and look at. Uh, we'd want the context to matter. So for instance, if we have a depiction of the Battle of Yorktown and it's a painting, uh, a history class might have a different um, different things that they'd want to focus on when describing that, that an art, an art history class or an art class might have. So do consider the context. Um, and then when giving, when I'm looking at graphs or charts, you want to give as much information as possible that you want your students to get out of those graphs or charts. Um, but when we're ready and when we're comfortable with adding our image description, and again, as long as you adhere to uh, those principles, and again, you can click on these to go into a little bit more depth with uh, ideas on how to get a good description. Uh, you're going to go ahead and add your description here. So, for instance, in this case, we could say an overhead view of the Truman, oops, Truman Mall at Dusk. And that's, that's not a bad description. Um, additionally, if say, for whatever reason, um, this was just a image file of like a border that would have gone around the outside of a page or something, um, that is not necessarily as important to actually write a description for. So you could mark that as decorative, um, but that is not the case here. So we'll go ahead and add our description. All right, perfect. This image is now up to 100%. So that's great. Yeah, so that is one example of um, just one of the ways that you can fix the alt tag tagging on an image. Um, and that's a relatively easy example where the image itself is uploaded to Blackboard. I think in a lot of cases, you'll probably find that the images are actually inside of other files. For instance, if you have a PowerPoint that is full of images, those images are going to need alternative text too. So to get that, um, I've, got, I've made a very simple example that will give us kind of an idea of what it would look like to fix that. So here I am back on my course and got this English Bulldog document here. And it's a pretty simple document. It's just a Word document with a picture of an English Bulldog in it. So we can see that it has a medium accessibility score. And if I click on that, uh, we see we've got a 52% and the reason given is that this document contains images that are missing a description again. 
And we can see now on the left hand side, it's shown the document and it'll highlight the images that are in question. In this case, just the one here of the bulldog. Uh, so to fix that, we're going to go ahead and bring up our Word document. Now, let's go back to Blackboard real fast. Um, we've got this how to add descriptions here, and that'll, depending on what version of Word or whatever software you're using, it'll give you some ideas on how you can fix it in your own software. Again, if you're really lost, not a problem. Go ahead and just give us a call um, or email us at ltt at trim.edu, and we'll be happy to uh, help you get that figured out. I'll put our contact info in the description of this video as well. Uh, but in my case, what all I have to do is click on the image, right click on the image, go to format picture at the bottom here. Again, this may look different depending on what version of Word um, or whatever other software you're using. And I'll get this window over here. Now I believe it is this icon that I wanna hit and we can see right here, alt text. Uh, so we'll give the image a title, English Bulldog, and the description may be white English Bulldog with tongue sticking out. Um, that's not a, not too bad of a description. And we'll go and save this document. And we'll place the old one. All right. So now I'm going to go back to Blackboard. To this document here. Well, let's actually go ahead and click on the odometer. And we're going to upload a version with image descriptions. So that's what we just did. So that'll be, that'll be great. We've got this English Bulldog file we just created. And we're gonna re-upload that now with the fixed alt tag. And there we go, 100%. So yeah, so that's alt tags. Um, again, you do have some liberty in exactly how in depth you go with the descriptions on these. I think there's a little bit of room for creative freedom there for sure. Um, but just remember to be meaningful, concise, and context specific. And I think you'll provide the, um, the best content that you can get for your students to be successful. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Again, I've got our contact info in the description of this video if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, have a great day.